From the KATC Weather Lab, here's Eric's forecast. What a yucky day to start off the weekend. It began with a very strong thunderstorms and gusty winds waking us up early this morning. Got a little bit of a break and then we continue to have more rounds of showers throughout much of the afternoon. The good news is all that rain is now pushed off to the east. We're drying out, but temperatures are falling and it is going to get awful cool for our Sunday before we start to see those temperatures warming as we move into the following work week. But taking a look across the country, we can see where that storm system is now pushing through Mississippi and Alabama, also beginning to make its way into the Florida Panhandle and extends all the way up into the Tennessee and Ohio Valley. The main area of low pressure is back here in North Missouri and into Iowa, producing lots of snow on the backside of this, causing blizzard conditions and could produce some record snowfall amounts up to two feet in some areas back through Wisconsin and northern Michigan. And then we also have some snow and rain back into the northeast area as well. So this is a very powerful system, but the good news is the rain is pushing off to the east, but we're getting the cooler air wrapping it around on the backside, making its way down into our region. The good news is no storm systems back off to the west, so we're going to remain dry throughout much of the upcoming work week and for our Sunday with lots of sunshine in the forecast, but it is going to get on the cool side. There's that rain beginning to now push out of the area, still dealing with some showers towards the New Orleans area, but I would say within the next couple hours, all that should be coming to an end. We're starting to see the clouds break apart here in much of Acadiana, and that'll be the story through the rest of this evening. Skies clearing and temperatures falling like a rock, but take a look at all these storm reports. We we had earlier this morning as those storms moved through across the area. Numerous wind reports back through Kinder down into northern Acadia Parish, Lafayette, and up into St. Landry as we had a couple roofs get blown off some houses, also some tree damage and power lines knocked down. That also extends into Iberia and down into St. Mary Parish. Also had some high wind reports of wind gusts between 60 and 70 miles per hour. So a very powerful line of storms that moved through early this morning. Maybe some of these wind reports will actually get turned into brief tornado reports once they get out and kind of survey the stuff tomorrow. So we'll continue to update you on that later as more information comes out. But right now we're sitting at 55 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Dew points are falling down now into the upper 40s. Those will continue the fall with this northwesterly breeze bringing in drier air to the region and winds are going to be the story for our Sunday right now around nine miles out of the northwest. We'll be between six and 12 through the overnight hours, but tomorrow afternoon you can see really cranking up and will become sustained right around 20 with some wind gusts up to 30. So you're going to notice that wind whipping throughout the day on Sunday before they start to die out moving late into the evening and into Monday. So clouds and rain pushing off to the east. The secondary cold front will move through early tomorrow morning. That's going to bring the cool and breezy conditions with it and really usher in that winter like air for our Sunday temperatures struggling to reach the lower 60s and with the wind it'll feel like the upper 50s most of the day and then another cold start moving into Monday morning temperatures dropping down into the lower 40s and upper 30s in some locations. But this evening we'll see those temperatures drop down into the mid 40s so a chilly start to our day and then you can see temperatures struggling to reach the lower 60s with plenty of sunshine and with that wind wind chills will only be in the 50s most of the day so have the jacket sweaters throughout all day on Sunday and then get the heavy coats out come Monday morning as you see those temperatures lower 40s interstate south upper 30s from Ville Platte to Alexandria going into our Monday, but we do start to see things warming up as we'll get back into the lower 70s by Monday afternoon. So skies clearing this evening and turning chilly 43 for that overnight low, not at all feeling like an April night across the Cadiana and with those winds beginning to pick up out of the northwest 6 to 12, it'll feel like the upper 30s to start off our Sunday. We will see plenty of sunshine tomorrow, but don't let that fool you. It is going to be cool. We're talking 15 degrees below average. We'll be lucky to get 64 degrees. Normally we should be approaching 80 degrees this time of year, so definitely well below where we should be for this time of year. And with those winds picking up out of the northwest, 18 to 28 sustained it is going to feel even chillier to be outside. So have the jackets and stuff ready. Maybe just stay inside and watch Netflix for your Sunday and relax a little. But you do see those temperatures quickly warming up, moving into next week with plenty of sunshine. Already back to near 80 degrees on Tuesday. I think we get the lower 80s on Wednesday. Another front moves through late Wednesday and the Thursday, maybe bringing a sprinkle to start off our Thursday. But temperatures not really dropping behind that. Maybe just a couple degrees into the upper 70s. And then the next chance for rain looks to return late Saturday into Sunday. So another chance for some weekend storms moving into the area. All right.